Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Papa Toy PPT-01 camera which is obviously a knockoff of the um, perfect effect um, reflector <clears throat> sorry and yeah this is an oversized better quality ish uh, version of the uh, par uh, perfect effect um, reflector uh, they are great even fact amazing but they are not without their problems and yeah so here's the box uh cool art uh we see the camera the uh triple figures on the back we've got all the accessories and yeah pretty much it <laughs> pretty standard so let's crack it open <clears throat> Yoink and one thing you'll notice there's no instructions. It's cool okay because we already had well I already own the original uh, perfect effect ones, but I would have still liked to have some instructions just to clear the um just to make sure that uh, uh, you know I wasn't the one mistaken because there's a couple of the stuff in there that I was kind of wondering. So we have the figurines and they look really freaking awesome. Let's set them aside just for now. So yeah, the figurines are really awesome. They are great, but let's just go with the accessories. So first up, let's go with the big shield. So the big shield is uh, very similar to the original. Can we focus? Focus, yes. So yeah, the Big Shield is uh, quite similar to the original, with a few exceptions. Uh, we do have the panels, now the panels now have uh, pointy things to hold the figure better and looks uh, much better on, in camera mode. Uh, yeah, uh, the thing is the shield got a little modifications where there's no place to store the weapons in. This really pissed me off, like there's no storage. I'll come back to this. So you've got the shield. <clears throat> we've got the uh, lance, <clears throat> and the lance is really nice. We've got like really cool uh, green-looking uh, lance in here. Uh, PPPT one. We've got the uh, button for the uh, the camera that you can put on this part right here. It does also open up. Uh, I've already placed the guns inside. I can show it. So we've got the uh, <clears throat> arm shield here and other arm shield here. And if you split it open, I've placed I already placed the weapons in. So let's check out the weapons first. Uh, weapons are all identical. Uh, nothing too much to them. So it's pretty much exactly. They look exactly like the, uh, the original. Uh, Mastermind, uh, uh, Power Effect Effect ones. And we have the uh, wings, uh, reactor wings. We can remove this if you want. It's really freaking tight. Voila. Uh, this can be applied on top of a head of a figure later on in transformation. Set the other side. There's a lot, a lot, lots of pieces. Uh, next up, we've got the Kodak Flash which uh, doubles as uh, missile pods. <clears throat> Again, uh, exactly like the Perfect Effect one, you can open this up and slide the pods. You can slide the uh, pods on the shoulders of the figurines. This doubles as a uh, handle for the uh, machine gun. So, yeah. Speaking of which, we've got the tripod which is the uh, big machine gun uh, all right the big machine gun uh, tripod and uh, a camera tripod and the machine gun that goes right here like this so yeah it's pretty damn cool it does rotate we've got the uh, uh, thing to look at through for the camera which separates and again can be placed on top of shoulders of the figurines to make a bulky uh, figure. Uh, one thing weird is that the uh, on the box it's written like a PPPD01 right here or Papa Toy something like that. It's supposed to have something written on it, but there's nothing. So 
Yeah. And now we have the odd things. Oh, well, just before, we have the knives and sheath. So we can pull out the knives. It's really freaking tight, but yeah, the knives are exactly the same and the sheets also. You can hold them and you can place them exactly like the other ones on the original and on their butts. <laughs> We've got three of those. So here's another one. And here's another one. All of this for uh, one for each. So we can place them in. Yoink. And yoink. <clears throat> All right. And now we start having the odd things. So, okay. And everything exploded. So we've got three bad rolls. Originally with the perfect effect, we only had one. Now we have three. It's cool, but the thing is, uh, originally we, sh we should have been able to just place one inside of the shield that stores, and uh, we don't on in this one. We can't at all. There is no storage. I do have the original right here, and just I want to show it off. I'm just going to... Yeah, but this is really tight. Come on, release your shield. Give me your shield. All right. <laughs> so underneath here, we can see the uh, original gun storage, but this one doesn't have any. So this is really pissing me off a lot. It doesn't at all. There's no way to peg it. So we don't have storage for the uh snipers same thing for the uh scopes so we have three scopes so all the guns can turn into snipers but uh, originally we only had one so yeah we can take the gun place it in place the uh, scope in here so we have a sniper but originally we couldn't no yeah, we we didn't have three. I mean, like only had one, and all the pieces could store inside of the shield, like the scope and the uh, barrel. But now we can't store, so this is a big problem for me. Same thing for the uh, uh, arm shields. So the arm shields are like this, and originally we could store knives in the back. Now there's no peg for the knives. We even have, the <laughs> if you can see, we even have the. Uh, the knife edge sketched on the plastic, but we can't place the, na the knife in. Uh, I tried and failed. Oops, got a knife right here. So yeah, as you can see, the knife has a peg on the butt, but uh, yeah, nothing stores, nothing whole. There's no pegs, so <sighs> nothing. So again, storage not present and this really pissed me off because when you transform into camera with your original perfect effect one every single piece had a place in camera mode everything was stored now if you transform it into camera you're gonna have like three uh, barrels three lances three knives sticking out and there's no place for them and this really really bothered me next up this is going to be hard to, sh to show, but we've got three different faces for every character. So we've got nine faces that we can place. Yeah. So we've got nine different faces. Now they are really small and kind of hard to see. I'm trying to show them, but yeah. So we can have like three different faces. One is like smiling, hangry. The other one is just angry. And another one is more like an open mouth. Uh, we got faces like three different faces. Uh, the three faces are, are identical. And they are three times. So it's kind of odd. But yeah, I'm going to put them aside. Because I've already placed all three different heads on my figures. So head number one. This is the straight face. I think this is the default one. 
So we got angry eyes, straight face. Looks cool. Next up, we've got this one, which is a uh, smaller. Let me focus. Yeah. Smaller eyes, uh, tiny mouth, like more angry. And the f uh, final one is like big eyes and open mouth. This is their three, the three different faces. So it's kind of cool. We got choices. I placed one different faces, uh, different uh, on each character. So, yeah. All right, we've covered the accessories now. Let's put those aside. For the figure themselves. One thing is that uh, when you come, uh, when you uh, take them out of the package, they are not uh, fully transformed. You have to open up these panels right here and close them. So yeah, this is one thing that the original one doesn't have. So we now have we now have leg fillers, which are really freaking cool. So yeah, we do have uh, uh, this part right here, but. We also have this part right here. I never really understood what it was for the original ones, but it's there. Uh, pretty much it. The head is on a ball joint, so it tilts, rotates. The arms are on a ball joint with a swivel, so it can move down, up, rotates. We do have a, another ball joint at the elbow, and the wrist does spin. We do have a waist swivel, we do have a split, the legs does move forward like this, back like this, and we have some ankle tilt down. Uh, we do have this toe thing that opens up for some reason, I don't know. And yeah, the toe tilt only goes inward and doesn't go outwards. And yeah, we do have a uh, knee joint, a uh, ball joint at the knee, so it does rotate and everything. So it's kind of cool. Lots of articulation. Uh, the plastic quality is amazing. Like the, the, it feels so solid. <laughs> uh, all three figures are identical, obviously, except for this one. This one only has like a uh, shutter on the uh, chest. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All the other figures are identical. We can place all the art uh, accessories, and they fit really nice. So we can start one just gonna arm them up real quick and yeah, move them aside Oop, this one I don't know, it holds uh, we can give him the sniper like I said there's three sniper which I don't like a lot and we can give him like the uh, shoulder pads one you uh his knife forgot to give him back so we've got one figure done set them in the back bring up another one let's give him the jet back like this uh let's give him the missile pods and the missile pods are Super tight to put in. Like so. Like so. Like I said, it's super freaking tight. Let's give him a dual hand, dual handling guns. All right. Does he stand? Or is he too big? All right, he stands. This one just fell off. And finally, we have this guy where we can give him. Oh, wait. Oh, the big machine gun. Oops. Like so. We can. He can hold it in both hands. Voila. So, yeah, pretty much like the original, you know. Oops. He is a bit heavy <laughs> with the gun in his hands. And the shield will. We can close this, close this, close this, open this up. We can give it to him. 
Uh, maybe not with the uh, shoulder, uh, with the arm guard. So, yeah. Oh, again, another one that is a little bit front heavy because of it. So yeah, we do have, and right now we do at home, we have the heads in. I'm not gonna throw the box away like I usually do, but yeah. <laughs> and we got one arm guard. We can give it to him, maybe. And voila. All right, so we got the triple reflector Papa Toys figures. And like I said, they are really looking awesome. I really love this trio. Will you hold now? All right. Like I said, we do have extra parts that really bothers me. I hate having extra extra parts that doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah. We can do like a quick comparison with the original ones. This is the... Whew, the perfect effect ones. And everything. Come on. I'm just... Alright. Just keep falling. <laughs> you have the mini machine gun one. And the shield one that doesn't have the shield anymore because I removed it. So we have the original one. Oh, everything is blurry. Well, obviously. So yeah, this is the original ones. And I know I, I keep saying that I hate having repaints and remolds and stuff like that. And I still do. The thing is that I broke mines, and yeah, it really pains me, but so that's the reason why I bought the other ones. These ones are, still, uh, are broken, they can still pose and everything, but will have a hard time transforming. But yeah, that's so why I bought the new ones, and the ones still disappoints me because of the extra parts and the um, parts that doesn't fit anywhere in camera mode, that really pisses me off. And another size comparison, here's the Titan Returns Bumblebee looks really good it's a really nice size it's a little bit uh, smaller if we compare to him since he's much uh, standing up he gets about chest size you know so yeah really cool but yeah <sighs> all right so maybe we can check out the transformation right now <laughs> and uh yeah Alright, so for transformation, first you want to strip them off of all their uh, parts. <laughs> Whoops. Like, just strip them all of their parts. So, once that, come to all the figures, uh, all the figurines transform together. Together, so, yeah. First up, make sure the panels are closed off. So, that the legs are empty. Next up, you want to bring the arms like this and up like this so bring the arms underneath the stomach and over the legs and bring the arms on the back like this the hands doesn't matter really which way they should face next up you want to bring the legs up and encapsulate the arms inside of the legs so we've got one transformed up complete do the same thing for all three figurines so they all transform identically, identical, identically. <laughs> so bring the arms in the back like so, and num num the arms inside the legs. <laughs> and the third one, same thing, wink, wink, arms in the back, clip the legs in, and put the arms inside of the legs and voila so we got three p three cubes next up you want to bring the figurines and make sure the uh, middle one is facing you so all the other ones will have to be faced backward so there's a uh, square peg here and a hole right here and you need to peg them inside this is the hardest part really voila and come to the underneath oh this one is already pegged in but there's a tiny peg like right here that will fit inside of the uh, legs so bring this in again peg it in 
to peg it in and yeah right here there's two pegs they need to line up voila come right here and now you need to flip these tiny panels oh, of the top the middle of the feet down like this do this for all three figurines and this is really tight and here too like so I think I broke all my nails <laughs> this is a new part that wasn't part of the original figurine so yeah and we've got a big cube which is almost almost done next up we want to bring the uh, shield open the shield with the plates opened up like this and make sure this pointy one is fa is facing the top one and there's uh, three holes in the crotch maybe so these goes in like this and then you clips this in on one side and clip the other ones in like this so now it holds perfectly and this is the part where I really like the uh, new pointy thing just encapsulate the torso really well so this is really nice so yeah this is done you can take the tripod open it up and peg it in voila so uh, yeah my tripod is sort of there's one leg that doesn't want to bend too much in some reason yeah whatever uh next up you want to take this part right here and uh, make sure that this peg is in the back focus yeah, so the peg is in the back, and while this is in the back, uh, the uh, missiles, uh, the uh, missile pods need to be front, facing you. So you just slide them in, slide them in, close this up, close this up, and now we have the flash Kodak, the Kodak flash. And you just use the peg right here and place it on top of the head of one, and there you go. Uh, next up, the button. Uh, can you focus? Wink. No, focus more. Uh, stupid camera. Alright, focus. So this is the button. And this, again, will just place over the top of the head. Like this. And voila. Alright, next up, these parts. Connect them. The Pretty much done. Place this over the head of the third middle one. And there you go. Uh, next up, the back reactor. The back reactor closed up like this, but before closing it, as you can see, there's uh, three, uh, three holes inside. Kind of hard to see. There's three holes inside. These will peg inside of the uh, guns. So using the barrel, you just plug the barrel inside of the holes. Second one in, and third one in. There you go. And then you can close the guns. Voila. Next up, you bring the panel here. And originally, like I said, the knife sh should have gone there, but can't. So just place the panels over them. Over the gun. Whoops. Uh, like so. We'll get there. Alright. So we got the objective lens. And you can plug it in. Voila. And finally, uh, we are left with a bunch of pieces the uh, gun muzzle knives and scopes and this really pisses me off because the original one could have uh, stored everything inside of the barrel and the shield and now you can't and this really bothers me a lot so yeah we now have the camera all done just for a quick comparison here's the original one so yeah a lot smaller <laughs> but yeah it looks really damn cool i really love uh the new one the papa toys looks great even though the new one uh, the other one has more details and stuff this one is just 
the the quality is amazing the, the plastic quality i could just smash it up with all my force in a wall and the wall would break <laughs> Plastic quality is just amazing and it feels good in the hand too. So it's just like a real Kodak <laughs> But yeah, I'm really really ticked off about the extra parts that stores nowhere Like why are you doing this to us? It really bothers me, but yeah, the Kodak looks really nice. We got the green lens the uh, the flash right here uh, we do have the um, uh, objective uh, to look through we do have the button which is a nice touch this pa those panels are really great that the original doesn't want that doesn't have uh, the toes that flips in does doesn't do anything but yeah it just streams it and makes it more like a brick <laughs> but yeah the Kodak looks great it's a really nice toy but uh, would, do I recommend it <sighs> I don't know if you want the, the quality is amazing the figurines are great if you just want to pose them with all the accessories they have go for it it's amazing it's really amazing set but if you're like me and you love to play with it and all the parts that doesn't fit anywhere really bothers you like me wait for the wait for the uh, for the next set there's another company making another set of the reflector based of the perfect effect ones i saw the screenshots papa toys are the biggest one uh perfect effect is the smallest one and the next company making it is going to be in the middle like taller than the original one and smaller than the papa toys maybe they'll pull it off hopefully but yeah may, my guess would be to just wait it's still a great figure like i said if you just want to pose it yeah, all three figurines on your shelves they, they do the job just fine they're amazing they they the size of the legend scale is just really great so yeah I'd, I'd say go for it but otherwise if you like to play with it and just like me you're really bothered by the extra parts wait <laughs> So, yeah, not much else to say. So, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.